Welcome back. Let's finish up this layout by adding a, uh, a region that I can put footer information into. Uh, so I want that to, uh, I know I've already set up a footer here that holds the very bottom of the graphical layout, but I want to put a footer down here way in the bottom. Maybe I'll just call it contact because often that's, that's what goes down there. And I just want it out here in the blue. So I do need a um, div tag there and I want to put it completely outside of everything. Um, so if I sort of click here in my content and do an insert and I want to make sure it goes after and the tag I want it to go after is the wrapper. So that means it'll be completely outside the wrapper. Um, actually, you know what? I could just put it after the footer. No, the wrapper has that background image in it so I'm going to have to do it outside the wrapper and this will be just my, um, let's just call it the info area. Click OK and you can see it shows up way down here at the bottom which is exactly where I want it. Now I just need to write a style for it. So with that selected, click the new style button. Uh, perfect. All that's fine. Okay, so now first I want that text to be centered. So under block, that's where text alignment is. So I want that to center. Okay, the font, I want to change that a little bit. Um, same font, I just want it to be quite a bit smaller. Let's see how 10 looks. I have 12, let's just try 10, let's see. Okay, so pretty small there. Really, I think that's all I'm, I'm going to do for the footer. So this is the, the spot where you get stuff that looks like, right, um, sort of the contact. And I'm just going to manually put in these pipes here. Um, you might have an email address down here. You might have a regular address down here. Whoops. Um, okay, Tim, if I could type. Uh, if, if, if it's a, you might have a copyright information down there. So anyway, I've created a special style here um, just for this region. So if I wanted this text to look different for or uh, for some reason, like I could go in and edit it and I decide, ah, oh, you know, I want this text to be a different color. Okay, if I want it to show up a little different, um, I have full control over what happens down there. Oh, the other thing, I want to make sure this centers as well. Um, so I'm going to go to the box, make it the same width as the wrapper. Okay, so make it a width of that right width and then I am going to tell it to have a right auto margin and a left auto margin. Okay, so change the, what the text looks like a little bit. I've told the, the text to align to the center and I've given this, given this region a width and I want it to um, have an auto right and left margin which causes it to center. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so there is my footer sitting down underneath uh, the page, or I should say my info, the extra info. So if I was going to make those links, of course, I would have to write some link styles for those. Um, uh, the only one that would really end up being a link would be email, but I might just write my email address down there and not make it a link, but you get the idea of um, how to do that. And everything should center when the, when the browser changes size. Okay, so it looks like we are about done with this sample layout. So um, lots of control that CSS gives you when we start using divs for doing layout instead of uh, the old school table method. A lot more control, uh, a lot more options with CSS. So great stuff. Thanks for watching.